Hey, what's up, YouTube, and welcome back to another edition of The Food Game. And we are back over at Sonic for this episode, and we are going to try out their brand new classic footlong Philly cheesesteak. That's right. You saw that I tried their spicy version of the Philly cheesesteak, and I wasn't that impressed with it, so we're going to downgrade to the regular version, and we're going to see how it is, hoping that it's going to be... A little bit better. So let's show you guys right here. It does come in another one of these uh, boxes here with a fork. A little mint. But of course we're just here for the Philly cheesesteak itself. So pretty much just looks like the other version that I tried, the spicy version, except it doesn't have the jalapenos, the Baja sauce, and uh, I think that might have been it. So with this one, you just get the grilled steak, the onions, along with the melted cheese on there, along with the foot long, nice and soft uh, style bun here. And the bottom of the the bun here is actually kind of soggy. It's kind of tearing apart actually. We might have to use both of our hands here. We're gonna put that to the side here. So without further ado guys, the classic foot long Philly cheesesteak. Again, this was a four dollars just like the spicy counterpart. Wow. So I got a lot of the steak in that bite. Wow, I was just, there was just a lot of meat and a lot of chew to it. Uh, it's not really what I was expecting. Now one thing that I did notice different about this than the spicy one is that this one is a lot less crunchier. Now, Obviously, that's because there's no jalapenos on there, uh, giving, that, giving it that extra bit of crunch. You do get a little bit once you bite into one of the uh, pieces of their diced onion, which it didn't seem to put a lot on here. I did taste that cheese, though, and it kind of reminded me of a chili cheese dog, even though uh, there's no chili in here. It's just the, the cheese. So with that being said, I'm going to have to go in for a second try here, so wish me luck. Oh yeah, this one is definitely cheesy. And again, it's just very meaty as well. I'm trying to see if I can show you a good piece of that uh, grilled steak here. It is a lot more moist than the ones that were on the spicy version. You can see we're not really going to try to make a big mess, but you can just see uh, some of that steak right there. But I also have to say, uh, flavor-wise, it's still kind of the same. It's not, the steak itself is not very flavorful. I guess that's why they try to load so many other things on here to, and hoping it's going to top it up a notch. So we're going to take one more bite here, and I'm going to tell you what I think.
All right, so after all, I'm going to have to say that this is still not as great as I was expecting. Now, one thing that I almost forgot to even mention was that the bun on here is actually extremely fresh. Like, it feels so soft that it's almost brittle, which is a good thing. Now, the cheese, though, is kind of, I feel like it's kind of overpowering. All you're mainly getting from this is the cheese rather than the steak itself. And uh, it didn't really put hardly any of the diced onions on you to really make it uh, pop a little bit more. So with that being said, uh, on my rating scale of 1 to 10 for Sonic's Classic Philly Cheese Steak, I think I'm going to have to give this a... Uh, I think I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10. I did like it a little bit better than the spicy version. Now, uh, just because uh, the quality of the steak was a little bit better on this one, I feel like it still wasn't that flavorful. Um, it was definitely lacking in the flavor department. It was a step up considering the fact that it was a lot more moist and just a lot more, I guess, juicy. What's also interesting is, I feel like that was almost the same deal with the spicy Philly cheesesteak, was that the jalapenos was just overpowering the whole thing. And with this one, you get that with the cheese as well, so. I mean, if you're a big fan of cheese, then you, you might find this to be a lot enjoyable, but I just feel like not having the taste of the steak and I guess the onions in here is kind of uh, not making it out to be that great for me. So that's why I kind of gave it a lower score. But again, guys, that's just my opinion. And if you have tried this before, let me know what you think in the comments below. But that will conclude it for this episode of The Food Game. And you know what's up. New videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Be sure to follow me on social media. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and share the video if you enjoyed Go punch the subscribe button, knock it out. As always, guys, have yourself a nice day, and subscribe to join the club.